Hi, before I show you guys the picture of the angel, I first want to encourage you to go to the comment section of any of my uploads. For example, in this video titled, I saw God and this is what he said. If you simply scroll down to the comment section, you'll see that I posted a long comment with a bunch of evidence in favor of Christianity. So if you're not a Christian, please read this evidence and examine it. If you're a Christian, I also encourage you to read this evidence and please spread it. You can copy paste this and post it on social media or you can print print this comment out and give it to people. Additionally, I want to encourage you guys to watch my two testimonies titled I saw God sitting on his throne and this is what he showed me and the other video titled I saw God and this is what he said. I'll include a link to these two videos in the description box of this upload. Speaking of the description box, if you just simply scroll down to the description box of any of my uploads, you'll see that I posted a long comment message or message, I should say, about the end times. Since Bible prophecy has been fulfilled, I truly believe we are getting closer and closer to the end times. So please spread this message also. Okay, now we'll show you the picture of the angels and the story behind it. Thank you. Okay, guys, now finally getting to the pictures. Before I give you my opinion on these pictures, before I ask for your opinion, I want to let you know how I acquired these pictures. So I came across a brother in Christ and he said that he had pictures of the supernatural. So, But when he said that, I was kind of skeptical. So I asked him, I'm like, can I see the pictures? He's all like, oh, it's not on his phone. It's on his computer. So he couldn't show it to me at the moment. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's completely fine. Can you email me the pictures and he's and he said that he, he didn't really know how to email so I don't even think he had internet and I told him okay if you can't email me can you put it on a flash drive and give it to me and he said that he doesn't know how to do that either so he asked me to go to his place and get the pictures and that's what I did and he has had these pictures for a while and he wanted to make a video about it but since he's not tech savvy he, he just couldn't and he didn't really find anybody that was willing to make the video so I agreed to make the video and originally we were planning on I was going to help him make the video and we we're going to show these pictures and he was going to talk but then it didn't really work out so I decided that I might as well talk and so that's pretty much what I'm doing. And the story behind this picture is that the man was taking a picture of his car, this, this was his car and he was going to sell it on Craigslist right so he took these pictures and at the time he didn't really think anything of it but when he went back and reviewed the pictures and like he looked closer and he zoomed in he saw that there was definitely something strange going on and yeah the man that took the photos he thinks this is a UFO I disagree with him I actually think this is an angel because look we see the wings we see the body and it's and this thing is just glowing with light if this I don't think a UFO would be glowing this bright and yeah, like I said, we see the wings, we see the body, and I think he thinks it's a UFO because in the second picture, it transforms into this UFO type thing, but I still don't think this is a UFO. I think just this is an angel pretty much. And when you think of an angel, that's pretty much what you think, uh, like a being that's glowing with light, and that's exactly what's happening with this picture. And before you think that this was photoshopped, I want to remind you that the man that took these photos he didn't even know how to email, so he does not have the capabilities to Photoshop. So, yeah, this definitely is not Photoshop by the owner. And before you think that this is some kind of, if, if, if you think that his camera was dirty and this is some kind of camera lens trick, I want to show you this. Look, in the first picture, the figure of light is right here. In the second one, it's all the way up there. If this was, if his camera was dirty, if this was just some weird camera trick, we wouldn't see it move like this. In both of the pictures, we would see it in the same spot, but that's not what we see. We see it move. So you see this thing literally like flies up. Additionally, I want to use this to tie it back into the end times. I want to remind you guys that UFOs are all government made. UFOs and aliens, that's going to be part of the end times deception. When the rapture of the church happens and when the repentant, saved, Christians are out of here in the rapture when Jesus Christ comes back to take home his bride the world's governments are going to say oh it wasn't God God didn't come and take back his bride it was the it was the aliens it was the UFOs the aliens and UFOs they came and took all these Christians so I want to use this to really remind you about the end times deception and remember UFOs are made on planet earth they're not from 
distant galaxies. They're all made on Earth. I mean, the governments have been working on them for a while. It's no secret. There's lots of evidence, including, I mean, if you just look up documentaries about Area 51, there's so many, like, sketchy stuff that goes on around there. I mean, they're not even trying to hide it at this point. It's, 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 the evidence is all over the place. Additionally, I've had visions of the rapture. I've had visions of the tribulation. I've had visions about the end times that I've uploaded to my channel. So I'll include a link to my testimonies, my visions, my prophecies in the description box of this video. So you can check those out. Additionally, I want to remind you that I want to remind you about this so you won't be deceived. If by chance that you get left behind in the rapture and the government starts showing you UFOs and aliens, don't be deceived. Aliens, they're not from distant galaxies. I believe aliens are just genetically modified human beings with a demon inhabiting the soul. And like I said, UFOs are not from distant galaxies. UFOs are all made here on planet Earth. And so, be not deceived. This is part of the end times deception. And the in the visions I've had of the rapture, I mean, in one of the visions, I was being raptured up. And the government was showing UFOs and I was telling the people, look, it's the rapture, it's the rapture. But people weren't paying attention to me. They were looking at the UFOs and they were just falling for it. And I want to remind you, for the past hundred years, the I mean, the world has been feeding into the minds of the people UFO and alien propaganda. I mean, all the books that have been written about aliens and UFOs, all the movies that have been made, all the science fiction literature, I mean... I mean, now people are saying, oh, since there's there's so many planets that the chances of alien life existing, the, the, the probability is high, they're claiming, right? But, I mean, this is all just from straight from the devil. For the past hundred years, he has been feeding into the minds of the people about extraterrestrials. So, when the time does come, when the rapture does happen, he can trick the people and say, look, it's the it's the UFOs. The UFOs came and took all these evil Christians. So, if you're more if you're interested more about this topic and the rapture and the tribulation and the end times, I'll include a link. I'll include links in the description box of this video about the visions that God blessed me with. So please watch that. I think they're very interesting. And this is what I want to let you let you guys know. Thank you for listening. All glory to God and God bless you.